So I don't know what discussion people have, what they tell investors or people if they arrange a meeting. But I know for sure that it's not because people have to pay me. Vice President Barajagdeo, during a press conference on Tuesday evening, strongly refuted claims that he is a corrupt politician, as is being peddled in the mainstream media. For context, the Vice President was interviewed by a correspondent from the New York-based media entity Vice News on February 1. In this interview, several topics were discussed with regards to Guyana and the road to future development. However, the seemingly calm atmosphere was transformed into one of hostility when the correspondent told the Vice President that a number of Chinese businessmen have related that the only way to get business done in Guyana is to pay a bribe. To this end, one Chinese businessman and lobbyist, Sue Jerome, was signaled out by the reporter, a reference that seemingly left the vice president stunned. While he did not deny knowing Jerome, whom he said was a tenant at one of his properties, he ardently denied ever collecting bribes for contracts. He then accused the correspondent of having a hidden agenda aimed at making the leaders of Guyana look corrupt, as well as an attempt to throw the country in the midst of an economic feud between China and the United States. More so, while the journalist relayed that information about the alleged bribery was leaked by Su Jerome, the vice president said that those claims were denied by the businessman. He claims this is a lie. He never said anything of the sort. Um, but he, I'm not putting my head because if he says that to someone, that's his business. But if I discover that he's doing that, then he will... Even if he asked me to see somebody, I'll never, never see them again. He noted that the sources of his income can be accounted for, citing that he has no foreign bank accounts and that all of his financial statements have been furnished to the Integrity Commission. For two years, we have been in office, and for personally, last year, I submitted, and in fact, the year before too, even in opposition, I submitted. Last year, I submitted. I submitted my statements of income and asset for the 2022. The Integrity Commission is among a number of constitutional commissions still to be reconstituted by the current government. The Vice President said that while he has an open-door policy, it is never about bribes for him, but to help people. As such, he will not be paying much heed to the allegations since it has no merit. Additionally, the Vice President also responded to the leader of the People's National Congress to form Aubrey Norton, who during a virtual press conference on Tuesday called for a full probe into the allegations. I also would like to call on the Guyana Police Force to investigate the allegation. It is law enforcement's responsibility to when allegations of this nature are made, they should investigate. The question of whether the government will allow them to investigate should not arise because constitutionally they are the Ghana police force, they are the law enforcement agency, and it should follow ipso facto. The vice president said that if the opposition wishes, it can take the allegations to the police for an investigation to be done. Meanwhile, the Chinese embassy in Georgetown has also refuted the bribery claims. In a statement released by the agency on Wednesday, it was conveyed that the vice news reporter came to Guyana with a predetermined agenda and tried to smear and attack China-Guyana Corporation as well as Chinese companies. The Chinese embassy said it is dissatisfied with and firmly opposes the violation of professional ethics by the reporter and and maintain that Guyana-China relations remain firm. It also conveyed that Chinese companies operating in Guyana are following the local laws, international practices and market rules, practicing in big projects through open and fair competitions, which is beyond reproach. For the HDP Nightly News, Kendall Richmond.